In the last video, we introduced the binomial distribution, and now we're going to review it just a tiny bit and look at one more example. So if we want to write our binomial distribution more formally, we can do it like this. Consider a series of n independent trials, each resulting in success with probability p. Assume p is constant for all trials. Let x be the number of successes in n trials. Then the probability that x is equal to k is equal to n choose k times p to the k times 1 minus p to the n minus k. And this is true for k equals 0, 1, up to n. So this is called the binomial probability distribution. And in the special case that we just have one trial, this is called the Bernoulli distribution. All right, so let's use this to calculate some probabilities. Um, and Archer hits a bullseye with probability 2 thirds. What's the probability that she gets no bullseyes in two shots? And we are going to assume that these two um, arrows are independent. OK, so let's define some stuff, get organized. That's a good thing to do whenever you're working with probability. We're going to define x as the number of bullseyes that she hits in two arrows. Well, we said earlier that the probability of her success is 2 thirds, so p is equal to 2 thirds. So we write that down just to remind ourselves. All right, so let's calculate some probabilities. What's the probability that she gets no bullseyes in two shots? In other words, we're wondering what's the probability x is equal to 0? So what we're going to do is come back here and plug in n equals 2 because she has two arrows, and k equals 0 because we're looking for the probability of 0 bullseyes in two shots. So probability x equals 0, we have n equals 2, k equals 0, and we're going to plug in 2 thirds for p. And that means we're plugging in 1 third for 1 minus p. So we go ahead and plug all that in, and we get 1 ninth. OK, so we have answered this question. We're done. But just for fun, if we want, we could look at the probability that she gets one bullseye and the probability she gets two bullseyes. So here's the work for that. You can go ahead and check that out. Now let's uh, tie conditional probability back in here. So the uh, archer, same archer, same sort of setup, is going to shoot two arrows. And you don't get to look. And now she shoots them. She tells you she did not get two bullseyes. Given this information that she did not get two bullseyes, what's the probability that she got exactly one bullseye? All right, so in other words, Conditional probability, we're conditioning on the information that she did not get to. So x is not equal to 2 is on the right-hand side of our bar. And we're wondering, what's the probability that she got 1? So we have probability x equals 1 given x is not 2. Now, we can rework this a little bit. If x is not 2, what could it be? It could be 0 or it could be 1. She could have 0 bullseyes or 1 bullseye. Um, so we rewrite this as a probability x equals 1 given that x is either 0 or 1. OK, what's our definition of conditional probability? We put the probability of the intersection up top and divide by the probability of the thing that is given. So um, the intersection of x equals 1 and x equals 0 or 1 is just x equals 1. So numerator is probability x equals 1. Denominator is the probability x equals 0 or x equals 1. So when we see the or here, that means we can split this into two probabilities. The probability x equals 0 plus the probability x equals 1. And we already calculated these probabilities up here. So we can go snag them, put them in. The numerator is 4 ninths. The probability x equals 0 is 1 ninth. The probability x equals 1 is 4 ninths. So we have 4 ninths divided by 5 ninths, which is 4 fifths, or 80%. So. For this particular archer, if she shoots two, tells you she did not get two bullseyes, then um, the probability that she got one bullseye is four-fifths. 